Hi, I'm Julian Reed and I'm here to talk to you today about Google Forms and Flubaroo. Google Forms are such a great tool and I know a lot of you are already using them, but how can we use them in education? There are so many different ways. These are just a few. Think about using them as a survey. Survey your audience in your classroom. Survey your students. Survey the greater community. Survey teachers. Lots of ways to use it in that way. Also, give a lesson and get feedback on that lesson. Find out what they did and did not understand and get the information to give them some power and control over their own learning. Students can then see that you're assessing what they need to have more help with and then readdressing those issues moving forward. It's that end time needed learning. Also, what about background knowledge? As you're presenting a concept, Get a grasp of where they are with their background knowledge by a quick survey. Concept understanding after you've taught one can also be assessed using surveys and Google Forms. So what about discussion starter? This is kind of a neat idea. Come up with a controversial topic, present it to your students in class, let them vote on what they think about the topic, giving them one or two options. Then show the survey results, have discussions about why some people decided to vote a certain way, why some chose a different opinion. Have those conversations and at the end of the class reevaluate. Have them take that same exact survey and see if their results change after they've had those conversations. You can use Google Forms for observations, either for teachers or for students, data collection, Evaluations for professional development, seeing where they are, what they need to learn, where you can go moving forward in your professional development process. RSVP to events, have different events and have people RSVP to them. Use them as an exit ticket in your classroom at the end of a class. Everyone fills out a, a survey. Maybe they say they understood a, a concept and say it's a math, but maybe they also have to work a problem and give you the answer and show that they understood that concept. And then you take those survey results and can decide, did they really get it? Or do I need to reteach it again tomorrow? Also, quizzes and tests. And in all of these ways, and especially in quizzes and tests, that's where we can see the real power of what we're going to be talking about today in this flubaroo. Before we get to Flubaroo, let's look at Google Forms. There are a lot of new f options in Google Forms. I love some of the new things that they've added to it. One of the ones that they've done is the ability to make it easier to create. We have keyboard shortcuts now and no longer do we have to remember to save, save, save. It auto saves just like it does in Google Docs. Also, collaboration is one of the big things, one of the big advantages in Google products. And now we can collaborate in making a Google Form. That's a really great option or another feature that they've added to Google Forms. Not only can you send the results of a, of a form out by email, but you can also send them out through social media. So that's another addition as well. And then we have more capabilities in how we analyze the results, how we share them out after we get the results of our survey. So here's some of the other things we've talked about, the automatic saving the collaboration already, but we also have the ability to have grid types set questions where some of them are similar and they're just in a row. We can copy and paste bulleted lists into a form. We already discussed improved summary results. We can have the sign in to view option. That's a good one. If they go in to view the results they have or to view the survey they have to sign in. So if they're viewing the results of that form they sign in but remember this as you're doing that. If this is a form that's within your domain and you want people outside the domain to be able to view it don't have that option because they won't be able to sign into your domain. You also have the ability now to have editable responses so students can come back and edit the previous responses. You can pre-fill some URLs and some of the fields on your survey or your form. You can make a copy of a form. This is really big. Make a copy and all the, re the responses from the previous form used to go with the copy. Now you can actually have the copy come out empty and fresh and ready to start again. So it doesn't always keep all the responses. You can decide how you want to do that. But now you can make a copy with all the responses deleted and gone and you're ready to start with a fresh new survey or form. You can choose the response destination. We discussed that. Do you want it in a spreadsheet, in a different spreadsheet sheet? Uh, do you want to remain in the form? Lots of different options. Keyboard shortcuts. And this is a new one as well. Bi-directional language support. If you're using this with students in, say, um, a Mandarin Chinese class, now you have the option to have things move right to left as well as left to right, giving you that different support of different directions that languages in different countries often use. So what's different in Google Forms? You know, there's some new things. The things that are different are really pretty simple. They're just 
looking around a little bit. So the location of a live form URL isn't down at the bottom like it used to be. It's up higher in the top, more at eye level, easier to see. The location of the spreadsheet view is also easier to see. There are fewer themes than there used to be, but they're growing. In fact, this week they're about twice as many as last week. The location of the confirmation editor when you're creating your form is different, and it has more flexibility, but it's right there on the same page. We'll look around a little bit and you'll see it. And then the summary of responses is no longer truncated in spreadsheet shell cells when you have a large, long response. Now it's easier to view. That's a really nice feature for for tests or surveys or forms that have longer result, re responses in the results. So what's coming in Google Forms? What's ahead? Well, we know there'll be additional themes. They've told us that. And I know one thing everybody's wanting, and that's the ability to insert an image. You can do it now, but it's a more advanced feature which requires a little more technical expertise. And the hints are here on this page, this resource page. But hopefully that'll be coming soon as well. So that's what's new in Google Forms. Now, what about Flubaroo? What is Flubaroo? It's free. It's a time-saving tool, and it's great. It does amazing things with the results from a Google Form. It can take a script and install that script, and that script is Flubaroo. You can get to it either under Insert Scripts and go to the Script Gallery, or under Tools and go to the Script Gallery. And you can do a search for Flubaroo, install that script, and it will instantly grade or assess or analyze the results of your form. So it's really great in that the results can be viewed in many ways. As a summary, it gives all kinds of indicators about student performance while you're viewing those results, and it's free and it's really easy. So on down the page here is this little video. If you look down the resource page on which you found this video, then if it's not there, there'll be a link for it close to you to this if you're on the Flubaroo YouTube page. If you're on the YouTube page showing this webinar um, presentation, then on Flubaroo's website at flubaroo.com or on that resource page, you can find this video. I'm not going to show it right now because it's already accessible to you. But it's a quick, easy overview introduction of Flubaroo. And lots of easy resources are available on Flubaroo's website. So what's next in Flubaroo? Well, this is the interesting thing. Flubaroo was, was created by a Googler. And this Googler uses his 20% time and has created Flubaroo. If you're not familiar with this, Googlers get 20% of their daytime, of their work time, to develop creative ideas of their own choosing. So he has developed Flubaroo. And one of the things that he's said, or some of the things he said that he wants to grow in this area, are the ability to export grades to a Google Doc. So think about taking those grades and now being able to export them out to a doc. We'll also have better integration of manually graded questions. We'll have the capability of Spanish translations and better and expanded email options. These are all scripts that are open source and that he's looking for people who are interested in this kind of thing to help him with. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to, in the next screencast, how to actually utilize Flubaroo with the results from a Google Form and get started. So that's Google Forms and Flubaroo.